So today we're going to take a look at how to use a relay and a motor together with the Arduino board. So in this case we're going to use a bare wire 9 volt adapter with a 9 volt battery. If you only have the one with the barrel jack you might have to cut the barrel jack off. Here's the relay board right here. I have a jeweler screwdriver, a motor, a cable for Grove, and a Wago connector. So I'm going to plug in the little Grove connector for the relay board. And now I'm going to connect up using the schematic that you see here. In this case, I'm going to start with the negative terminal or the black terminal for the 9 volt battery. I'm going to plug it into, in this case, the left screw terminal. I'm going to screw it in like this using my jeweler screwdriver. You may find that your screwdriver is too big for this little connector, so you might have to get a smaller jeweler screwdriver to make sure that it connects in properly. Next, I'm going to use the Wago connector like this. I'm going to put my red terminal from the battery connector in one. I snap it down. It seems secure. Then I'm going to take the black terminal from my motor. I'm going to connect it to the other end of the Wago terminal. And then I'm going to take the red terminal of my motor and put it into the screw terminal on my relay board. And again, again I'm going to use my thin jeweler screwdriver to attach it in. Now I'm going to plug it in to, so there's the relay right there, that's the relay board. You can see all the different connections. The motor to the Wago, to the battery, like that. Okay, and there's my 9 volt battery right there. Now you can use something other than the Wago connector to connect things. Breadboards will work, um, other uh, off-the-shelf electrical connectors that you get at home hardware or Home Depot will work as well. I'm plugged into the D3 terminal on the board and this is my motor right here. So we're going to try and make this work. And Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, and if it doesn't work then we'll have to debug it and figure it out. So I'm going to run this code right here in MATLAB. And is it going to work? Check, check, check. It's supposed to be connecting. Getting a little nervous here. That didn't seem to... Oh, right. I forgot to plug in my board. Okay, so we'll plug in the board like this. All right, always check your cables. So now it's connected. All right, now I got to reset things on MATLAB. Right. So I hit the stop button in the MATLAB screen. It's up at the top right. And let's try again. So I'm going to hold the motor in my hand. I'm running the program one more time, the script one more time. And it didn't work. All right, I probably have to clear everything and start again at the command terminal. No, okay, I got to clear things again. Hold on. Let's try this again. All right, one more time. So I'm holding the motor. I'm trying to run this, I'm running it. And when it runs, I heard a click. So when you hear a click, it means that things, at least some of it's connected properly, but not all of it. Why, why, why? So it means the, the connector to the Grove board is connected properly, but maybe the Wago terminal block isn't. So let's take a look. I'm taking a look inside. It's sort of out of the screen right now, but yeah, I'm looking underneath and I can see that my wires weren't touching that rectangular piece of metal that you see on the inside. I'd overshot it. So I wasn't making good electrical contact inside. The nice thing about these Wagos is that you can actually see through them. And so no, I hadn't connected this properly. I'd pushed too far and I just connected the insulation on the outside of the wires together. So now all the copper is touching each other and now I'm going to run it one more time. So I'm holding the motor. Connect to the board. Bingo, it works. We're good.